Jesus is Lord. Acts 2 verse 36. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Many preachers tell people they need to make Jesus Lord. While I understand what they're trying to say it's too late. Jesus already is Lord. God made Jesus the Lord almost 2,000 years ago. Acts 10 verse 36. The word which God sent to the children of Israel, preaching peace through Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. What we must do is recognize and agree that Jesus is Lord. The Bible calls this confessing, which certainly involves more than just glibly speaking a few words. Romans 10 verse 9. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. We need to realize we're not the center of the universe, but Jesus Christ is, and therefore, we should submit to his lordship instead of trying to run our own lives. But we don't really make him lord, we just yield to his lordship. No matter what it may seem like at times, Jesus Christ is lord. He is ruler, boss, king, the one ultimately in charge. It's true that Jesus has not yet exercised his prerogative and taken charge of everything that's his by virtue of being Lord of all, but that's only a temporary situation. Philippians 2 verses 10 to 11, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven, and of those on earth, and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Eventually, everyone will know the truth. You have the great privilege of knowing it and acting on it today. Jesus is Lord. Say this. God made Jesus to be Lord, and I accept his lordship over my life and over all creation.